Salamta, Salamta Tenaist Alin. I speak this, I, Ras Yadinos Tafari, Yadin here, the duly elected national president of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated for this year, 2022. So I'm speaking this within, this is the official, this is like a word right here, concerning the Malkoda, as it was known as the Malka Oda, Malka Oda, often ones will say Malkoda, right, land grant. That was the original, the original name was the Malkoda land grant that was given to we, the black people of the world. Who was the land given to? It was given to we, the black people of the world who are members of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. Let's, let's just state this. This needs to be understood that the land, right, the land that we know as uh, Shashimani, the land, right, was not given to Rastafari. It was actually given by Rastafari, Kedamawi Hala Selassie, in that context. But it was given to we, the black people of the world. Now, this is like a follow-up to... Um, the tabernacle, the matter about the tabernacle, the demolition, and the most recent news coming out of Ethiopia, and even our vlog and vid that we still stand by for what we said, you know. But ones and ones are being used to teach Rastafari a lesson. We as Rastafari, a lot of things that were done, for example, the tabernacle was built on land that according to the pre-existing maps and planning, a road, a road was supposed to go through. And it is even said, many ones are beginning to acknowledge it now, that, well, they knew that there was a road that was to be built, right? A road to be built on the Mal Malka Oda, the Malkoda. Remember, the original land was called Malkoda, the original name. Now, Shashimeni was like, I think, an area nearby and has its own very interesting, unique history. And it began to be popularly known, you know, as Shashamene. It's some of that name, Shashamene, Shashamene. Right? You see it in the glyphs right there, Shasha, right? Some say Shashamene, but really in the Amharic, you see right there, it is Shashamene. Sha she me ne sha she me ne the sha she many land grant right so ones were aware right there's many who were aware of that right right now this one here says 1955 but based on actual documentation we see it as being given from an earlier time right roughly in the mid you know the mid 40s the mid 40s about 10 years at least before this particular sign right here but here's the official, right, one sent. This is from Dr. Gladstone Robinson. It's interesting. You know, I don't like to release some of those interviews, exclusive interviews, more than, you know, more than a decade, you know, more than a decade ago with the second official Shashimani Land Grant Administrator, Dr. Gladstone Robinson, right, Dr. Gladstone Robinson. I know we have some other... um information to show you who's who many of the brothers and sisters know who's who but just take note take note and we'll follow up on that as well we have a channel actually have to speak to the other duly elected officers and committee also the members and you know how we're going to go about that particular youtube channel because it's going to be important to follow up and to share you know vlogs like this but because of the crisis you know and the situation that has come about it's important for us to look at where we right as as we the black people we the members of the federation right of this generation remember we're like at this point we're like the second to maybe third generation yeah federation we're about like the third or so generation here and there's another generation coming up so hopefully we can resolve you know these um these problems and these challenges that we have had over the years and the proposal here i'm gonna pick up from where dr gladstone robinson ras fikra selassie may exiawiher may he have you know mercy and rest his soul may his soul rest in in in, in peace be salam and rise be kubr, right in glory you know our brother the elder has passed on Right, but he was appointed in 1967, 
So the real solution here is to consider and even where possible to return to the 1967 Shashimani Land Grant Administration. A lot of other parties and individuals and different people and different groups and either friends or other brethren or they're of the same either mansion or house. So people have done a lot of different diverse things. One of the main things that people have done, and we Rastafari people, we're seeking to clarify, you know, like take that fly out of the ointment Right? because it's causing the apothecary to stink. So we're trying to take that fly out by men mentioning these things right here. We've mentioned it elsewhere, but it's important for ones and ones, hopefully with this particular situation of the Nyabingi tabernacle in Shashimani, with the bulldozing and the removing of it. You know, a lot of ones and ones might be on the blame, the Ethiopians. Well, they have their blame, yes, but... Well, it says, are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Yisrael? As we are the children once lost, now found, the beta Israel of the West over here, 400 plus years. What Babylon feel like? Rastafari, Israelite. And we say Israelite, we, we're going beyond just the organization of Rastas. There was an organization, right, and it still is, you know, to some extent, called the 12 tribes of Israel. That's an organization that was founded by, you know, Burnham Carrington Gad. They call him the Prophet Gad, right? And, and enough love and there's some good works that have come out from that that we can point to. But we are Israel, right? Our organization was established thousands of years ago, right? Thousands of years ago. Not talking about the recent organization. So when we say Israelite, don't get it twisted. All right, we talk about Israelite. We're talking about we the black people over here in this 400 plus year experience. So when we say we the black people, are you not as the children of the Ethiopians or children of Israel? So we can see the Ethiopia and true Israel, ethnic Israel, we the black people over here connection. So we have the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. We're showing the sign of the Black Lion Museum since um, the elder since the Shashimani land grant administrator. Also, he was an officer, you know, within the organization. Also, I think a president a few times as well in the organization. So we're, our links in the federations, linking with ones and ones who are actually um, members, right, as well as officers. And some of them, especially the one of them, speaking about Dr. Gladstone Robinson, you know, to the very, you know, we say to the very latter day. You know, all the way we can say to the end, he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. And he gave us the accurate information, right? Both his, 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 like not memoirs, but what he recalled, what he shared. And we have video on that as well, as well as our brother Ras Haile Yesus, right? You know, the restoration of Jacob. Check out brother Haile Yesus. Look it up on the internet. Restoration of Jacob. And when you see the Rastafari connection, you're going to see I and I and Brothers work. So I'd like to share that as well right here. He has a, um, um, what is it? I think it's, um, 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 what's that called again? GoFundMe, right? Because he has land there as well. We have to support one another. This is what we're reading about in Torah, in the Orit, right? right? Give us a teaching of his majesty. All right, so that particular work there as well, you got the good interview too with Dr. Glaston Robinson. You know, he went over there, has been over there in Ethiopia, our brother Haliasus. We have been doing our tour of duty over here, but may Yahweh, you know, may Xiavihir, you know, Lotus Sibhat be pleased that we can reach in due time and due season as well. All right, but hopefully we'll have our tribe. We want to have our tribe with I and I. This is why one of the purposes of all this study to shoe ourselves for proof so we'll know what to do. Just like the Israelites were in the wilderness, but in the wilderness they were to receive instruction. Not just to run ahead into the promised land, but to receive instruction. And when they went into the promised land, they were supposed to do it Yahweh. Right? So we talk about tabernacle. Right? And we say Nyabingi tabernacle. But there's only one true tabernacle. Right? In my father's house, only one house. So we the Beta Rastafari got to get our house in order. Right? In my father's house, there are many mansions. So there's different mansions and love and, and honor. You know, it says honor the brotherhood to all the different mansions. But when we're speaking about the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, and when we're doing it the right way, this is our government. We have to recognize the significance of our government. So there's been a lot of shortcuts 
ones can even look at the tabernacle you know as kind of being in a sense that shortcut and many of us don't want to say it a few are acknowledging it and from what dr glass on robinson had shown i back in 2003 in 2003 right I'm talking about 2003 and he was appointed as Shashimani Land Grant Administrator by the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. Well, what you had was some Rastas and some Rasta man thought that, you know, when he told about federation, you might hear this phrase, this saying, light like a feather, heavy as lead. You've heard that before among Rastafari, even in some tunes. Light like a what? Like a feather, mine, heavy as lead. Like like a feather, heavy as lead. Now, why was that said? This is said to have been said. And we heard Barana Selassie, a.k.a. Bob Marley, also refer to that. Right? I think he was getting wizened and wise to the role of the Ethiopian World Federation Corporate and that land grant, that land that was granted to us. Right? At the very same time, our documented information, unlike that other sign in Shashimani, you know, because what happened is reduplicating works because ones didn't want to do the work the way the king has so set the work to be done, right? There's a way that the king of kings has set the work to be done. And he established his organization, right? Through us, black Americans, black Caribbean, you know, others who are here gathered in America, the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, right? Which is not a religious organization. I need to point that out right there, right? But we're about our divine heritage, Right? So, of course, our divine heritage has that Judeo-Coptic, right? some might call it Judeo-Christian, but we have to get to the very root, Judeo-Coptic as its roots, right? the lion of the tribe of Judah. And Judah, Yehuda, was one of the 12 tribes of Yisrael. And Ethiopia's true history and narrative speaks about the Israelites of Ethiopia and the Ark of the Covenant. All that is true, regardless of what people want to say, say today. But as Barana Selassie said, 3,000 years of history you can't wipe away so easily, right? So some things were done the wrong way. And we see that we're coming to a time to experience where some are becoming willing to admit. It's amazing to hear what some ones and ones are beginning to say and acknowledge and some facts that even though we had went forth as a messenger, right, of the second Shashimani land grant administrator. I have to point this out because that was 1967. All right, 1967. So we get the state of Israel on one hand, but yet we also have through our federation, you know, the Jews, the European Jews had the Jewish federation and that had worked out, you know, and connected with the Balfour and all that with the state of Israel thing. But around the same time, we, the black people of the world, right, was given that land grant in Ethiopia, right? But we got distracted. It's not hard to get the... Israelites distracted. We see what happened to the Israelites throughout. Read the scripts. We're the people of the book. We are those people of the book because only we can be so hard-headed and yet the Almighty can still continue to show us more grace and love. But he has to chastise us. It's a chastisement. Right? It was known already before that that land there, that there were plans to build a road. I recall and give thanks to heal up um, I and I brother, Wendemey Yaiko, brother Jacob, Ras Yerehmiel, you know, because when I listened to his message, as soon as I had got the message about the Ras Paul in the hospital, at first I thought, even like Jabani, Jabi, Jabi did, right? He had thought, um, you know, it was the Jabani, Jabani, yes. He had thought that um, it may have been Priest Paul, but if, it's, if he's Priest Paul, then his title is Priest Paul. Don't change a man's title. If a man says Ross, you know, if a man says he's Lidge, such and such, so be it. That's still a title. Right? We should respect that, you know, as it is respectful. So I was not sure about it. So I got on the, the comms, the WhatsApp, the link, you know, to link with others, you know, some who are, you know, fellows, members, right? in the federation as well as some who are part of the brotherhood you know the yeshiva you know part of yehuda moa anbesa the loj you know what i mean the fraternity we can say so i try to link with them as well and um we got back com communication that really reminded us i said chan that is right dr robinson had told i that the second shashimani officially right what has happened is that ones and ones 
You know, we can name name and we can show documentation too as well. Try to do an end run around the duly appointed second Shashimani land grant administrator. Right. And this also led to what they call like the pioneer settlers agreement where there was 12. I right? know the number. There was 12 pioneer settlers. I've likened them to the 12 spies. You remember the 12 spies that went into the land to search out the land? And then 10 of them brought back a false report, brought back an evil. Actually, the scripture says an evil report, an ill or hurtful, or unkind report. And that had discouraged the children of Israel. Right. From going into the promised land. And they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. So let's just add 40. Right. To 1967. What year would we come out to? We would come to 2000. What, what, what would that be? That would be what? 2007. Uh oh. That was the true new millennium. If you know anything about the Ethiopia, the calendar, they keep the ancient, ancient calendar. So when we get like to 2007, 2008, right in Ethiopia, that was the true 2000. Right. So 40 years. And this is when even more and more of our people and more black people. I've tried to share this also with other Israelites, you know, other Hebrews and Israelites, even the camps. need to know about this because this was given to we, the black people of the world by the occupant upon the throne of David. We know this from the black Jews of Harlem. Right? We could say the, the, the patriarchs and matriarchs for those of us who hail, you know, we as we the black Jews and the beta Israel, that real roots, even the roots, that's the roots of even the one West camps. That's their real roots that some of them want to break away from because of some, you know, misunderstanding of the significance, right, of the, of the Ethiopian in the equation, right? But things were done wrong, my brothers and sisters. You know, things were done wrong. And, you know, even ourselves, we were even involved in assisting, you know, through certain, you could say, governmental communication on behalf of certain elders to come forth from Jamaica who were the same founding elders of that tabernacle community. I give thanks that they were able to, you know, reach, as we say, reach Zion or the gates of Zion, you know, and, you know, had hopefully, you know, a full of full of a life and a liberty. You know, I think Mama and Papa Bo is who we are, you know, referring to as well. You know, that they were able to go forth over there. You know, we assisted in that. We was a part of the Nyabingi in Brooklyn, right? When the ideas and the reasonments for the tabernacle came about. And I must say, at that time, being an actual witness, an eyewitness, a witness in person, not just I, but all the members of our body was there too with I. You know, so, but, but here's the thing. Federation didn't really even come up in the matter. I, it might have come up in passing, but it was almost like this was given to us as Rastafari, and that is not true. You see, that's not true. It was not given to Rastafari per se. This is why we said that before, and we'll say it again, right? And others, please help co-labor and minister. This is part of the good news of the kingdom, right? Because we have to know, well, what is the parameters of the kingdom, Right? What is the order of the kingdom? You hear about ones talking about this a order, that a order. You know, different mansions have their different orders. But what is the order in our father's house in the Beta Rastafari? First of all, the land was given to we, the black people of the world. Therefore, when we talk about Rastafari, all ethnic Rastafari. When I say ethnic, I'm talking about we, the black people. We, we got to admit that Rastafari from the core, right, it is black. Right? We have to recognize that there. That's just the natural and the supernatural fact of the matter. It was given to we, the black people of the world, right, over here in the Americas and the Caribbean. And the headquarters of the organization was formed in New York, right? Many ones and ones have been trying to, you know, put the headquarters in Jamaica. People have been trying to put the headquarters in Ethiopia, you know, trying to do a lot of fast, fast and loose moves because they have, you know, enough brethren and brethren and sistren, you know, they have ones that support them and ones that really probably are not very much what more informed than they are, you know? So we're dabbling, we've been dabbling with something. The thing I would say about this, about Rastafari is this, about I and I and I and I people, right? Because even Dr. Gladstone Robinson initially, right, was not Rastafari, at least in that outer manifestation, 
right? But he told I himself, you know, when he went to the land, so forth and so on, you know, it almost became like, a, I have to say this, a Yankee versus Yardy, a, 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 a Judahite versus Benjamite sort of a thing. You know what I mean? It became like that. Right? But even over time, you know, not that much time, you know, he saw that full of full light of Rastafari, right, and hailed him Rastafari, you know what I mean? But still, nevertheless, he still had that appointed authority. And the shame of the matter was that ones and ones, instead of listening to him, were playing different, how can you say, tribal games and everything. You know, and attempted to do things other ways. I mean, I'm talking about the ones like Solomon Wolf's. You know, job bless his soul as well. You know, the Moody's, job bless his soul as well. The Brissett's, uh, uh, all the other ones that you hear some of these other parties in the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated name. But they're not naming the one who was given the official administration of that particular land grant. And don't admit that they try to do an end run around him by going to the palace minister. I right, see, His Majesty gave us the permission to form the organization. It was black men, right, that sailed from America, right? I don't know if there was any woman amongst them. I just say man right now because I'm on them, right, that had to, you know, be first in, you know, merit, you know, first in place, first in merit. So they had to do that work. They went to, they sailed to confer with the King of Kings in exile in Bath, England, and they heard you know, as Massey heard what they had proposed, they, there was all these different organizations that was claiming to raise money for Ethiopia, right? But the concern was that they was using the Ethiopian cause and that the fascist antichrist invasion of Ethiopia, they was using that as a pretext to raise money, yet that money was not reaching Right to those in Ethiopia and His Majesty and and the people and 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 the soldiers and and whoever needed that money was not getting that money. So they basically was using you know like using the crisis. People are starving, so they start a GoFundMe or they start some kind of you know like donation kind of thing you know on behalf of somebody else. So this is what a lot of other organizations were doing at that time. This is before the formation of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. And it's important for us to recognize, well, who are those, who are those black people? Some of those black people were, were I would say they were pro-black Christians, right? Pro-Ethiopian, pro-black Christians, right? That means they were looking at the black Christ, the black Messiah. They were recognizing the truth of the story of the narrative. Some of them were black Jews, right? We have Rabbi Arnold Josiah Ford. I and mean, this is before his time, but this is all a part of his work led to even the Ethiopian World Federation Corporate. So therefore we had the Ethiopian Hebrew Congregation, right, of the living God, right? The Royal Order of the Ethiopian Hebrews involved, right? And we had so many other ones, right, who were involved, but especially that black Jew, right, Yehuda, right, Israelite, Hebrew, and that true black Christian messianic link, that Abyssinian Baptist Church, so many other ones also were involved in that particular process right there, 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 right? So it was black church and also the black synagogue, right, that was involved. This is, this is a significant thing. Right, because now we look among the Gentiles, the Europeans and the, and the white Christians and Jews, notice how they are working in a harmony together for the, for the causes that are important, whether it's the state of Israel or whatever. But where did they get that from? You know, so many things we were first at. I'm not talking about way back 10,000 B.C. I'm talking about, you know, just over the past hundred years. You know, that leads us back to the Roaring Twenties, right? That led us to 1930. Weep not, behold, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. That real awakening is connected with that birth of the man-child of Revelation chapter 12. Leads to Farai and Ijasa Gora, Ethiopia. Psalm 87 verse 4. Im kush ze yulad sham. With kush, to say Ethiopia, this was born there, this God, man, and king of kings. So... After the organization was established and after Ethiopia was victorious, five years to the very day, five years to the very day, May 5th, 1936, right, to May 5th, 1941. And shortly after that, 
it was the membership, right, and their duly elected officers that communicated, right, sent a request to his Imperial Majesty concerning land. Many ones sought to have their own land to come out of this Babylon, right? And it's a beautiful correspondence, both the letter that was sent as well as the letter that was received, right? That letter that was received, especially the letter that was received, right? This is all part of the second Shashamani Land Grant Administrator's official portfolio, which is on record and on file with the Ethiopian government. I mention this because a lot of ones, when they hear certain things, you know, like we mentioned certain facts, people pick up on some things and they try a thing. They try another shortcut. Keep trying shortcuts. Keep trying shortcuts. You never heard before that shortcuts sometimes can make deep scars. Shortcuts can make deep scars. I often liken that too because when I first heard that, I thought about it. And I, you know, you hear a wise saying and you're trying to figure it out. You know, you're trying to figure it. You know, you do a little medi to figure it. Well, a shortcut is like a slash. It's like you slash somebody. Right? No, uh, no, 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 no. That's a long cut, sleeker. You uh, could a, a shortcut is a stab. See, see, when somebody gets stabbed, a person gets stabbed, it's probably the worst thing, right? They get stabbed. Some of the, you get stabbed and go through so many arteries and organs, you know, getting stabbed because it's like deep. You're going through sideways. Now, if it's a long cut, long cut can be sometimes like a slash. Like you slash somebody and they, they may have a mark. You ever see somebody who has a mark, a slash, and it's like long and everything? You know, yeah. That's one thing, but it didn't really um, um, damage any organs, right? You don't get any organ damages, right? The thing about a shortcut, a shortcut has the potential to cut through vital organs, right? You can get a lot of bad organ damage, right? So shortcuts, right? That's what it says, shortcut leads to big you know, big scars or really big damage happens through shortcuts. So a lot of ones will hear things, a lot of people have heard things, but what they don't recognize, right? As we point to the links, and one of the brothers said that he was trying the links right there, but hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll work that out. So excuse me if I'll check over the links as well, because we know that these links are the official links for the official Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, the real membership initiative. There's some other parties who are doing other things in the quote name of the organization but most of them represent entities that were you know kind of incorporated later we're talking about the 1937 august 25th 1937 entity so the land right the shashimani land shashimani ethiopia land right you know was given to we the black people we the black people of the world right was given the Shashimani land grant. It was not Rasta or Rastafari per se, right? So amongst those who had, had, had signed the 12 so-called pioneer settlers, this is one of the acts they did to go around the proper order of things. The proper order of things was to recognize ones like Dr. Gladstone Robinson, right, from 1967. Uh, we got some pictures to share as well. I'd like to share that as well. With Dr. Gladstone Robinson in Ethiopia. Also, he was there with Michael Manley. Michael Manley, just to some of the yardman to hear this. He was in, we have a picture. We have all this document, all this document where Norman Manley went to, I didn't even know he went to Ethiopia. Norman Manley, the great Norman Manley, he's there. Even with the second Shashimani Land Grant Administrator, the first one, the first um, um, Piper, right, you know, James, you know, Mr. James Piper and his wife, they were the first, right, the first, and Mr. James Piper was a Yehudi, was a black Jew, right, so the importance of our identity, right, as we say, we the black Jews, the line of the tribe of Judah, but the importance of our identity, and then that identity, that ancient identity, Right? With the revelation, weep not, behold, princes shall come out of Egypt, Ethiopia shall stretch forth her hands to God. Are you not as the children of Ethiopia and the me, O children of Israel? With Ethiopia, right? This man was born there, right? So what we witness, we see this as, as we mentioned in the other vlog, you know, where judgment is coming first to us, right? But notice that mercy triumph over judgment, 
So even though this is a judgment, this is a chastisement for the Rastafari community, Nyabingi in particular, but overall, I and I is Rastafari, you know, because someone's and ones have put their particular mansions that they want to maybe call houses, but really in my father's house, we have one house, there are many mansions. So we have different mansions, you know, among the different mansions, even amongst us as Rastafari, you know, we might see many things the same way, core things we see the same way, but there's other things we might have different reasonments on it. People, you know, we, you know, we're not identical in that sense, but we must have some common ground. Right? And to understand that that ground, that land the tabernacle was on, was already earmarked, right? There's already plans. People don't know that His Majesty had planned far into the future. Even the whole dam, you heard about the, the GERD, the Grand Ethiopia Renaissance Dam. Even that right there that they did was based on the plans, right? Originally engineered and drafted up by the government, right, of the King of Kings. Right, by the government of Nugusa Negese, Ethiopia, by the government of Katamar Hadassalase. Right? So they were long term, they were like short term, intermediate term, and there was long term plans. Now there's opportunity for many of the long term plans. We see what happened with the GERD, the Grand Ethiopia Renaissance Dam. See, a lot of people don't even know that the plans that they were working on. Right? That started out from Melissa Nawi time, you know, and then was fulfilled in Abi, Dr. Abi Muhammad's time. Oh, Dr. Abi Mah Ahmed, right? <laughs> you know, in his time. You know what I'm saying? Um, this, this is what's going on also in the Shashimani area. So they, it was already known this would happen. But ones were either defiant in their own, you could say, spiritual, spirituality, you know, that Nyabingi spirituality, or, you know, ones and ones who just want to rasta, rasta ting. But here's one of the worst things that we have to correct. Because by us saying that the land was given to the Rastafari means any Rastafari of any nation would want to claim a piece of land. But this land was given to those who were landless, those in the diaspora. Right, to the generation and their posterity. We are the posterity of those pioneer fathers and mothers, right, in that guidance of Dr. Malaku Emmanuel Bayan. That's our Emmanuel, Dr. Malaku Emmanuel Bayan, right? We're not disregarding, you know, the other Emmanuel, you know, hail up to our and I and Bobo Shanti brethren. But what we're showing is that when we look at it, from His Majesty's perspective and from what the history, the, the record, a lot of this information was not known to many of us. Some of our elders and those before us, some of them might have known it, some of them might not have known it. Right? So it's not about us pointing fingers so much at them, but we just need to see which ones were holding and representing the rightful thing. And Dr. Gladstone Robinson was one who was representing the rightful thing. And we're, and we're not saying by no means, you know, even the man in our interview, the elder, you know, he testified to a lot of things. And we'd like to share everything. He said to share everything, right, in due time. And this is coming to due time to share, you know, those exclusive interviews. So I'm actually looking forward to being able to, some of them have been digitalized as well and need to put this into circulation and distribution. But the land, once again to the land. Right, when we talk about the Shashimani land, right, you know, and so this is the Black Lion Museum. Right? We'd like to keep the Black Lion Museum, right, in circulation, right? This is a work that Dr. Gladstone Robinson, you know, Ras Fikra Salase, the second Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated Administrator, duly appointed by the organization. If some of our Rasta brethren and some of them with the land and different things didn't try to do their different end runs around, if they didn't think that feta, you know, like a feta, feta is light like a feta, like a feta, you know, they, they thought federation, you know, they made pun of the name and became like feta to some. So instead of federation, some of them thought about it as a feather, like a light thing. They thought it was a light thing. So they chose their own, John left them to their own designs. And now we're seeing a lot of those designs, you know, basically coming to their own fulfillment, right? It's important for us to repent, you know, have a change of mind to recognize, you know, yeah, that was, that was wrong there. So this is not about blaming the careless Ethiopians or otherwise. But in this case, the careless Ethiopians would be those black people. Right, Rastafari especially, right, that came back and instead of doing it 
the Ethiopian World Federation way and according to what the administration had already right, appointed to be done, instead chose to do things their own way. As I mentioned, those 12 pioneer settlers that signed that particular runaround of the proper order of things, only two of them were Ethiopian World Federation members. So amongst those, those 12 and the 12, I think all 12, with the exception of one man, and that was the second one who was an Ethiopian World Federation member, that was Reverend Hillman. Reverend Hillman, you've probably seen him in the documentary um, Emperor's Birthday, Reverend Hillman. He's the one that talked, he's one of the only ones, one of the few ones in the whole documentary that mentioned the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. Ain't that something? You know, and him, right, as well as Dr. Gladstone Robinson were the only two, right? We call them our Joshua's and Caleb's. They're like the Joshua and Caleb. If you know anything about the scripts, you know our divine heritage, you will recognize why we call them our Joshua and Caleb, because they were of those 12 spies that went into the land. They were of the 12, but they brought back a good report. They brought back a yes, we can, yes, we can do it report. The others brought back discouraging reports. And there's been a lot of discouragement, and sometimes the discouragement Right, even to the land grant and, and as it once will say, repatriation or migration, you know, or return, right, has come from many of the Rastas, right, many ones and ones, you know. So this is why judgment must first come to the Beta Rastafari, right. And it says, um, he who confesses his sins, his uckeries, his falling short, his missing the mark, right, you know, he, he who confesses will be shown mercy. Right, shown mercy. Well, could we still our family? That's the main thing right here. And where there's life, there's hope. I got a word also for those who are interested that um brother um um brother Paul, Ross Paul, I think he's recovering. He's recovering, he's doing well. I think it was a sister as well. That I and I brother, brother Wendeme Yaiko, you know, give thanks for that message update. There's some other videos as well. You know, I just want to just make sure I get proper, you know, permissions, you know, where possible to share this information coming forward as well. You know, I'd like to share it with the executive committee of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, as well as to share it with the general membership in the next membership meeting. As we said, we're going to put the links below. Um, one brother, Kadir Abdi, you said you was trying to link I and I. I don't know which particular link. I hit you up on the comment on Rastafari Jews. So, you know, um, hit me up at Rastafari Jews at, 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 at Gmail. We're going to use that as a basic communication, especially on this channel. So others also that would like to utilize that, you know, we'll see to give time to, you know, be patient. But, you know, hit me up there, you know, any comments criticisms, you know, communication, or if ones would like to be able to be linked on some of the other social media devices, you know, one can send their phone number, you know, the link, and we'll put that as well, instead of us sharing it like on, on the, what's, you know, on what they call it, on YouTubes or something like that. That wouldn't really be wise right there. So yes, brothers and sisters, the official links for the official membership, the initiative, because it's a membership organization. It's about the membership, right? It's a membership organization, and we've taken it to the foundation as we have to build, you know, from within, right? And build constitutionally. We have a constitution and bylaws. The headquarters for the organization is New York. I just want to make that clear again. And there's a wisdom for that. If we had listened to some of the the Rasta elders, some of them have passed on, but some of those who were not Federation members, and even if they were claimed to be Federation members, they was not doing things the Federation way. Of those 12, we can only point to Dr. Gladstone Robinson, actually, you know, because he had that, you know, experience in the Federation. Douglas Mack talked about him in his book, From, Rastafari, from Babylon, From Babylon to Rastafari. There's a very good book out there if you can get a copy from Babylon to Rastafari. Douglas Mack, he's one of the three Rastafari that went on that mission to Africa, right? And he wrote a book about it, right? And in that book, he mentions the Ethiopian World Federation. He mentions Dr. Gladstone Robinson. I think he also has a pic of some of the elders from back in the 60s, right? So here we find ourselves a little more than, 
you know, a little more than 40 years, almost going on 50 something years later. You know, a new generation, right? Remember what happened to the Israelites, right? That older generation wandered in the wilderness. They wandered to death in the wilderness. And then it was the next generation that he called on. You know, we hope that, you know, John Spears, I and I elders, you know, especially those who, who, who if they've done wrong, confess. Just, just confess, own up. A lot of things we didn't know, you know what I mean? You know, and we are to show that, that forgiveness and that love for one another. You know, but those who will continue, right, to try to defy, you know, the will of the membership, right, as well as the proper constitutional order, right, as well as the proper functioning of the organization, this needs to stop, brothers and sisters, right? And I think we had a generation right now, the mutes, give thanks for the youths, the young ones, you know, the young ones that are coming forward because they have an opportunity to really look through a lot of information almost at one time that we was getting little by little, <laughs> you know, little by little because we didn't have this media and this technology that we have today, right? So give thanks to the brothers and sisters, right? Yes, I, Rastafari. So a little bit more right here to come right here. Yes, I, Rastafari, right? We say that this right here is true. It was given graciously, but the, the date is earlier, right? When we look at the paperwork, Shashamani, right? Originally known as Mal Koda. Right or Malka Oda, Shashemene. Right, so the land grant was given to we, the black people of the world. Right, just in a similar way. Just think about this for a moment. We got this land from almost the very same time in the 40s. Based on our investigation, we narrow down that the date of that document to 1948. Right, at the same time as the European Jews. Right, mainly into the Balfour Declaration, you know, had gotten, had gotten the state of Israel through that political United Nations stuff. Right, we had gotten this land, and the very same documents we have a declaration too, is where Matty gave us that declaration, and he also gave the organization, right, which is a membership organization, right, that responsibility to the management of the land. If we had listened to some others who had wanted to shift, and they attempted to, they tried. Even some people are still trying little tricks and stuff, trying to say, oh, we should put the headquarters in Ethiopia. Oh, we should put the headquarters in Jamaica. Oh, we should put the headquarters somewhere else. Imagine right now if the headquarters was put in Ethiopia, as some of even those elders, who many of them who passed on, had suggested and recommended. Suppose that was done right now. There would be no more organization. There wouldn't be, we wouldn't have the federation. Yeah. Or even in Jamaica, right? The same way right there. His master knew what he was doing by planting it in New York, and particularly, right, at least at that time in 37 in that Harlem area, right? Because he overstood that, as we say, Ethiopia took them, Ethiopia first. He understood Yehuda, Yehuda yik them, Yehuda yik them. He put it among the so called North American, you know, Black American. Negro for a purpose, a reason, right? And as you can see with the consciousness of we being Israel rising and shining, you know what I mean? Jai says, next time send the right people, right? What did he mean by that? Those that would understand the importance of our divine heritage, that Judeo-Coptic, Judeo-Christian root, right? Because this is not just a fleshy, this is not a fleshy thing, right? This is also a spiritual Right? It's a spiritual thing. It's powered by the Holy Spirit, the Ruach Adosh, the Memphis Kedus. Yes, I, Rastafari.